Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick tutorial on partner social issues. So this tutorial will be covering two important concepts which is transform and pandas.qcut or quantine cut. Both of these will be very useful when you are doing any kind of feature engineering on your data. So let's begin. We'll first load our libraries and we'll be loading the titanic data set again using C1. And we'll look at the data. Now let's suppose that I want to do a count, right? I want to count uh, on the class and the embark down. Right, and I want to store the counts as a feature here in my data set. So what's the typical way that you would do it? The typical way that you would do it is that you will create another data set like say df uh, group, uh, like uh, df group. So you would take this value uh, and, uh, and then you'll do like uh, size, yeah. And then what you would do is that you would uh, join it with this table and you would join it using like uh, df dot knowledge. And you would say how is you do a left join and then you would do on is good students. You do a class and you do a mark. Now we get that, right? We get this uh, uh, value here, but what if there was an easier way? What if you don't have to do, go through this entire cumbersome process of creating another data frame and then merging? What you could just transform it. So in Pandas, what you can do is you can take, I want to store it in this variable, count of class down. What I do is df by group by, and what I do is I use transform and I want to get the size and if I do that, if you see, in just one line, I get my values exactly the same as I would get while going through this process. So using transform saves you a lot of effort and code that you have to write. Now the second functionality that you will be taking a look today is QCut or quantile cut. Similarly, it sometimes happens that you have to bin your numerical variables. You have to bin your numerical variables based on quantiles that you find out while doing some kind of exploratory data analysis. So rather than creating a function, and then using apply, you can directly use pandas qcut. You have to pass your 1D array here and the quantiles that you want to use as the cut and you have to pass the labels. Now the labels will always be one less than the quantiles. So let's say 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1. And the labels are A, B, C, and D, which means that between 0 and 0 0.25, it's A between 0.25 and 5 it's b between 0.5 and 0.75 it's c and between 0.75 and 1 it's d so we can just use this and if you look at it the lowest quantile you see the age is very low and in the highest quantile you see the age is very high so hopefully uh, this will help you into enhancing your code while you are doing any kind of feature analysis or transformation using partners Thank you for watching and as usual, do follow mnexplain.blog. And if you like the video, like and subscribe.